ladies and gentlemen, for something completely different. It's different, this. This isn't a song at all. This is a monologue. A monologue that was performed by a man who, strictly speaking, was born a bit too late to be on the music halls, but he was very popular in the 1930s and the 1940s. A man named Rob Wilton. I'm subject to colds and they send me quite deaf. And then I can't hear what you say. <laughs> a fellow once offered to buy me a drink and I heard that with a cold, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> as we drank, we got chatting of girls that we'd met and described a sweet girl dressed in red. My description was good and my pa went half mad to the girl he was going to wed. <laughs> He said, I'll punch your head. I said, who's? He said, yours. I said, mine. He said, yes. I said, oh. <laughs> he said, do you want to fight? I said, oh. He said, you. I said, me. He said, yes. I said, no. <laughs> so we then got to words and he said, you're a cat. I said, cat. He said, yes. I said, oh. He said, oh. I said, yes. He said, you. I said, oh. So of course, from then on, I knew. <laughs> now, the day I got married some years ago, I'll always remember the scene. There was me and Jim Lowe married Maudie and Flo who were twin sisters and always had been. <laughs> we were married all right at a quarter past two, but somehow we must have got mixed. Jim said, which is mine. I said, oh, never mind, let's get the bloody thing fixed. <laughs> he said, have you married Flo? I said, Flo, I don't know, but what if I have, you've got one. <laughs> he said, I wanted Flo. I said, oh, is that so? Well, your only chance is just gone. <laughs> He said, did you know that you'd married Flo? I said, no, I don't know that I knew. <laughs> he says, you've married mine, she's got 10,000 pounds. I said, well, never mind, she'll do. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, a sail on the sea is a thing that suits me, and I've done some sailing, it's true. But I was at me wit's end one night off Land's End. It was a night when I'd had one or two. The captain came out on the bridge and said, lads, we're doomed. The old ship's going down. To the boat, every man except you. I said, me. He said, yes, there's no room. You must drown. <laughs> I says, drown. He says, drown. The old ship's going down. Don't stand arguing there. I've just told you straight, there's no room for you, mate, in the boat or, in fact, anywhere. He said, I know it's upsetting. <laughs> he said, I know it's upsetting, but what's the use fretting? You might have lost all of the crew. <laughs> But now, like I say, we can all get away. We can only lose one, and that's you. Oh, <laughs>